What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Netto and for today's video we're here with the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline. So this is a brand new sneaker that actually doesn't come out for another two weeks. The actual release date for this sneaker is November 29th, 2019, so Black Friday. This will be a Black Friday release and is sure to be a pretty hectic, I'm sure. Black Friday releases always are a little bit tough. Uh, but nonetheless, I was able to pick them up a little bit early, so I wanted to get this review out there for you guys to show you what it looks like on feet, give you all details and aspects of the sneaker up close, and show you all the different parts of the sneaker as a whole. So like we always do with my channel here, I want to give you guys all the information you need to decide if this is a sneaker you guys want to pick up. So the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline, what we're going to do is take a look up close at the shoe. I'll show you what it looks like on feet. I'll give you guys my opinion and rating out of a score of 10. And I'll give you guys my opinion at retail price and at resale price to give you all the different aspects of where and when you might be looking to pick up this sneaker. So as I said, you know, there's a ton to cover in this video, a ton of value here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed. I do post content like this all the time. But for now, we do need to jump right into this video. So let's jump right into the review on feet of the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline. All right, so here we are with the sneaker, and honestly, my first impressions are really good. I'm a big fan of Air Jordan 1s, but specifically, this one does look pretty nice right out of the box. We have some decent looking materials, and we have some red laces in here, which is not exactly what I expected. I thought it was gonna be the white pair. However, it does come with two additional laces, including that white pair, and a second pair that has some writing on it, which is very different from other Air Jordan 1 releases that we've seen. So these actually say, who said man was not meant to fly? So that's another name for this shoe. People are also calling this the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Fly Air Jordan 1. But essentially, it's just white, black, and red all over, as you can see, primarily with the red piping going around the materials. So overall, it does look pretty good at first glance, but we're going to dive deeper a little bit right now. So if we take a look at the toe, the leather on the toe box, honestly looks pretty decent. Not, not bad at all. Not great, but not horrible in my opinion. You have the red piping going around the black mud guard all around the toe. The black leather, pretty soft, pretty nice in my opinion. You got more red outlining going around, this black swoosh, the black wings logo, all in that same leather. And honestly, pretty good quality all around. Um, not really any complaints. Like I said, probably not great, but not bad in my opinion. Uh, white, black, and red all around the back. White midsole, red outsole, two extra sets of laces. Um, so pretty decent looking, you got the tag up at the top in black with Nike Air in red. Um, so there is pretty much a full look at the shoe. If we take a closer look inside, we do have black inner walls and we have writing on the insole, the black insole with right, right, red writing to say who said man was not meant to fly on both sneakers. And then here's a look at the size tag with the dates and QR code as well. You can see the red laces and the back of the tongue in black and red as well. Lastly, if we take a look at the inner part of the sneaker, it is just the same as the outer in terms of materials and colors, the red piping going all along. And then you have a red Air Jordan 1 outsole, which is very typical of all the other Air Jordan 1s, so not anything too different there. And now that we have taken a full up-close look at the Air Jordan 1 bloodline, I gotta say it does look pretty decent, so I'm excited to get it laced up and show you guys what it looks like on feet, so we'll jump into that right now. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline on feet, 
there's definitely a lot to say about these sneakers and we need to dive right into it right here. So first off, we start with sizing. These do fit true to size, so I would go with your typical Nike sizing on this sneaker. However, if you like a little bit of a snugger fit, you can go down a half size. I do that sometimes with my Air Jordan 1s and the fit is just fine as well. But beyond that, if we get into specifics and talk about how they look and my final opinions on this sneaker. So on feet, I think they looked a little bit better than how they did in hand, but not a ton. And they reminded me of a lot of different things when I did put them on. So first off is they immediately reminded me of the Sports Illustrated Air Jordan 1. Obviously the swoosh on those is a lot different than these, but the overall black and red color did remind me of that. These also did remind me a little bit of the Not For Resale Air Jordan 1s, just the color pattern and everything about the sneaker. So with that being said, I don't think it differentiates itself all too much from many other Air Jordan 1s. Obviously the black, white, and red is so classic and seen on so many Jordan 1s, but these ones, I don't know, they might go a little under the radar just because of how they look. And in my opinion, the red laces, I thought they were gonna come stock with the white laces. Obviously you can change them, and in this pair I probably will. The red laces just don't do it for me. I definitely like the white, and I'm not so sure on the ones with the writing. I don't think I'm gonna put those in, but I would go with the white laces in these. I think they would make them look a little bit better. So overall, if we kind of talk about them as a whole, I was able to pick these up a little bit early for a really good price. The resale prices on these are not high at all, given that they are two weeks away from the release. So if you go on resale platforms and can find these, they are relatively cheap, which makes me think that they will be pretty cheap on release day or after, or at least be a little bit easier to get on release day than other Air Jordan 1s. So there's a lot going on here, but of course the retail price is 160 bucks. So I think if you can pick it up for 160 bucks and want this shoe, you definitely should. Black Friday is coming up soon and they will be available um, you know, at all the normal spots. They should be around at Foot Lockers and all the typical stores. Um, so beyond all that, if I had to get my final rating and opinion out of 10, I think I'm gonna give these an 8.5 out of 10. I think they're pretty solid, but not too, I don't know, not too crazy in the scheme of things. They are similar to other Air Jordan 1s and I'm just not a fan of these red laces that come stock. Obviously I can change that, I know, but I wish Jordan would have done that on their own. I think it would have improved the kind of perception of these sneakers as a whole, just in my opinion, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And of course, like I said, if you can pick them up for retail price, I say definitely go for it. For resale, I would keep checking the prices, but right now they are pretty low and right around that $200 mark, which is not bad for Air Jordan 1s. But at this point, if they're that low before the release, I would totally expect them to keep going down. So keep checking prices and purchase at a price that you're comfortable with. Um, but, but with all of that aside and out of the way, that pretty much wraps up all that I had for the video here today. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed. And otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next video.